good. Whoa, it's bright out here, y'all. Put some shades on. I don't think that's gonna help your view, though. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. One more day, y'all. One more day to the weekend. I'm on my way downtown. I'm gonna meet up with my sister this morning. We're gonna hang out for a little bit, maybe grab some coffee or some breakfast. I'm driving on the DVP right now, one of our major highways across the city, and this older white man was like flagging me down, you know what I mean? Honking and trying to get me to wind down the window. And my first thought was, nah, nah. And I thought about that, like, is that crazy or not? Because I'm like, I don't care. I was thinking in my head, I don't care if my car's on fire. I don't care if I have a flat tire. I'll figure that out on my own. Anyways, I thought like, am I jaded against the world or is that just what the world is now? Like, I don't even trust a stranger who could possibly be trying to help me. But it's just too scary out here, y'all. And I've been run off the road once by a guy who was trying to pursue me on a road, you know. Pande road, pande river. Did, was not interested, did not want his number, and he proceeded to run me off the road. This was years ago, but like, stuff like that stays with you. And I, there's a video going around um, recently of a, of a young woman who, um, you know, a guy asked her for her number, she said no. He approached her again and she said, I'm not interested, I'm gay. And the man proceeded to stomp, jump on the top of her car, the hood of her car, stomp her car, stomp her windshield to the point where it was completely shattered, she could not see, she got glass in her eyes, she got out the car and he attacked her. Like, that is some scary shit. Make a slight right turn. Becky, shut up. By the way, my car's name is Becky. The man was actually flagging me down because I left my gas cap open after getting gas this morning. However, how the hell am I supposed to know that? Let me go close it real quick. Oh shit, I don't even have time. Crisis averted, I closed my gas tank. I stopped for gas this morning and I must have forgot to close it. I was in a rush, you know? All that to say, be careful out there, kids. I mean, you don't know who's who nowadays. Like, how am I supposed to know you're trying to help me and not run me off the goddamn road? I don't know that. I don't know that. shopping now but I'm with her uh, yo what's up what do you mean uh what's that yo I'm here anyway Wait, look at me look at me look at me look at me okay say hello to the vlog hi everybody I want to look at lighting because I'm ready to change the chandelier in the dining room we're kind of like slowly working on the house as you guys know we've been there it'll be almost a year it'll be a year on Saturday happy one year anniversary to us and this store has a, re a lot of really nice lighting so Oh, you can't even see me. We're gonna check it out. Look at these chairs though, you guys. Wow. Oh my god, look at the bubbles. So beautiful. You guys, I'm okay. I have to talk really loud because it's loud in here. We're here for the second day in a row. <laughs> Chuck's Roadhouse Bar and Grill. Yo, get you some. <laughs> but it's because we got. <laughs> It's because we got these coupons in the mail and it's like so cheap to eat here. So anyways, we've been out shopping all day. I have had no luck finding the lighting that I want for the dining room. So I think I'm gonna hold off and just finish up the reno of the powder room, which you guys will see coming up soon. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday. Turn up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> happy Friday, happy weekend. I look a mess right now, but I'm about to put this all together. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get, you guys. I'm just gonna throw some earrings on. And I placed my first order from Boohoo. Let me just show you guys something real quick. Keisha's in the room, by the way. Say hi, hi. Keisha. Hi. Um, you guys remember the dress that Keisha was worried about wearing to the wedding? The wedding that she went to? You guys, I bought the exact same dress. <laughs> it was so nice. It looked so good on her, so I bought it. I have a wedding coming up, as you guys know, in September to go to. One of the boys, um, like childhood friends from school. 
that's why he's getting his suit altered so I bought this dress this is the first one. I don't know if any of these are gonna fit. I got everything They're in a size 10. They're going to fit you. But this is beautiful. I mean, this looks really good on Keisha. Keisha has like more curves than me though, so I feel like this is a Keisha dress, but you know. This was the boy's pick. He likes this. It's a really, I feel like the boy wants me to be a basic bitch. <laughs> it's such a, <laughs> it's a really plain midi dress with florals. I did notice it has a bit of ruching on the side though, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna try it on later in, and see how they look this one's a fucking showstopper <sighs> this dress you guys i was so nervous about it i don't know if it's gonna fit because there's no stopper. stretch but look how pretty this is look you show see are you dumb you just see it against the white wall look at that oh my oh my goodness this is beautiful but there's zero stretch and i got it also in a size 10 so yeah i'm gonna try these on later but we're about to head out go run some errands and um i'll catch up with you guys later Outfit of the day, jeans are Fashion Nova, they're so cute. And my shirt is from Glamazzini.com. It's got the women of Wakanda, all their names, and I just tied it up. First stop is Toys R Us. Well, Babies R Us, really. Babies R Us, actually, which is a joint. Oh my gosh, guys, surprise! Look what it is, guys! Keisha, do you love me? <laughs> So we're gonna go look for a baby shower gift, which Keisha has to attend on Saturday. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have a registry here, so we're gonna go check it out. Going to the baby registry. We're at Chapters now, and we're looking for a book because the mother, the mother to be, wants um books instead of cards I think that's such a good idea guys like for all of you guys who are pregnant having a baby shower ask for books instead of cards but we want a book with a black person on it a black baby black child black family so let's see chapters if you can if you gonna come through with the diversity oh that's nice they have a native one I'm pretty sure oh I love that I see a black girl right there the pink one. I like myself. Oh, look, you guys see how far away I was away that's part of that? Oh, I love her with her hair. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's only 11.50. That's good. Okay, let's keep looking just in case. Just in case we find something nicer. Doc McStuffins. Yeah, Doc McStuffins is black, but I feel like she's very common, you know? She's mainstream. These are children of color. I don't know if they're black. Oh my god. Oh. Daniel Tiger. It has a black girl with Afro puffs on it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Look at this picture. Are you reading? That I think is really kind of speaks a lot. Like her and uh, like a cop. Oh my god, and look yeah. At the message. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. That's so I, nice. Can you please add that to the cart? This is really beautiful. Yeah. Also, was she having a girl, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is a little black boy. He's cute too. We're at Payless Shoes right now, and um, because Keisha's looking for sandals, you guys look at these heels that I found. How cute are those? They're basically the heeled equivalent of my slides. And they're only $17. I think I want them. Those are beautiful. They're the same as my slides, but heels. They're beautiful. I know. I can wear them to the wedding, no? Your feet look so good in them. <sighs> okay, you guys know pink is my favorite color. I found these Christian Siriano shoes. Yeah. $13. You guys did not tell me about Payless. Like, I was not hip. 